Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tabacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a vintage Cygnus petrol table lighter. This is a gold tone anodized aluminum lighter, aluminum block lighter. It has vertical ribs running down both sides and also has ribs or ridges running along the base of the lighter which is in the uh, shape of a horseshoe. At least that's best way I can think of to describe it. It is an advertising lighter for Brothers Sewing Machine Company in Pennsylvania, which I believe is still in business. And it's a, uh, a very good, uh, excellent working old lighter that uh, if you needed to in a pinch, you might be able to use it for self-defense. does show scratches, scuffs, dings, finish loss, stains, paint loss to the lettering there. It says Brother Sewing Machine Corp of Pennsylvania. Looks like most of the paint is there in the upper lettering. It's mostly in the of Pennsylvania where it is missing. You will recognize the typical Cygnus thumb roller for your flint tension here, although this is a much bigger lighter than most Cygnuses that you will see, the Cygnus petrol lighter, or pocket lighters anyway. When you get on eBay, you would think that uh, the majority of Cygnuses produced were the table variety. There are a ton of them for sale. Constantly, at least 50 or so. Some with advertising, some not. But you can see the difference here between the table version with the horseshoe shaped base and your standard regular size Cygnus. Obviously table lighter is about twice as tall almost. It doesn't appear to be marked penguin just Cygnus I'm assuming that is patent 364149. I can't see it. I'm not even sure if the stamp can be fully seen. Hopefully it shows up in the video better. And then looks like the fill screw is marked made in Japan. You can see these three rubber feet or cleats. The table model that I had owned before had those in it and they constantly fell out. And I noticed in the listings for these lighters that there are a lot of times where it will be missing one or two or all of them. Keep that in mind when you go to purchase one. This lighter appears to be used so much and it was very dirty when I got it. Um, had quite a bit of build up and grime on it. But I mean they've almost been worn down completely. I think this was slid across the table a lot somewhere. Getting awful far in here. I guess I still haven't lit it. has a very big fuel tank. It's very efficient with its use of fuel. 
you fill it up, you'll be able to use it for a long time. A little bit different setup than the table version, or I'm sorry, than the pocket version in that it's kind of walled off over here. Has a you can really get a grip on it. As I said, if you needed to for self-defense, you could uh, probably employ it for that. I believe the Brothers Sewing Machine Company is the same company that makes the P-Touch label makers and those kind of products today. I could be wrong. Uh, I got on the website and tried to find a history article or about us of some kind. I said the ribs were on the front and back. They're also on the front spine here. And on the back spine is the advertising. No ribbing on the back of the base. Just those vertical ridges or ribs. Anyway, I believe that is the brother company that still makes those computerized label makers and I guess they still make sewing machines as well. There are some markings like it's been scuffed up there on top of the snuffer. Maybe somebody who had a ring wore a ring that was slamming it shut or something. The Still has the original wadding and wick. The fill screw still has its gasket. It looks like it's all intact. And also has the spare flint compartment. As I was saying earlier, I had one of these before and I used it on a regular basis. Had it right there beside me. And uh, if you keep it, if you feel it, it's going to it's gonna last. You know, a lot of those lighters, they really only last for a day or two once you fill them up. But I filled this one about a week ago and it's still lighting up strong. And I expect that it Who knows how long it'll go once you get the right amount of fluid in it and you're not evaporating it out. It's got a really tight, it's not like it's got a rubber seal there, but you can still get a little bit out through the wick, but not a whole lot. really a heavy lighter to have in the hand. See the stains. Overall though a nice example of a vintage Cygnus table lighter. likely from the 1950s or 60s and this one will be going into my Cygnus collection for the time being until next time